good day everyone. Since recently I have fallen in love with Hasegawa, I think I have to make a video for him in order to wipe away his bad impressions. Too many players are not really know how to use him and some will feel angry while teammates are not passing to you. Actually, Hasegawa is not the main scorer, always be the second or the last scoring option. Just don't be mad about it. What we can do is to act as a decoy, try our best to block or interfere every shot and keep passing around. Shoot while you have good look. This is a preparation before his awakening. It will be difficult for us to use to his playing style. Let's start! Start with offensive side. First move to be master is speeding up landing shot, something like catch and shoot. During speeding up duration, holding the button too. Once you catch the ball, then Hasegawa will do a pull up shot directly without any preparation move. It's the key skill to take in the field shot. Normally, the defender will stay close to you to defend your step back. We will only take in the field shot just outside the pendant zone. The defenders will not able to block you since they are standing too close to you. However, experienced rebounder will try to block you. Next is a step back shot. This is the effective area. Remember this area. We just need to stand one step closer so we can create the longest distance step back by stepping on the three point arc when shooting. We must keep practicing for not stepping outside of three point arc. If not, we will see some sweating emoji. The trick is do not keep calling for the ball ball. Only press it while you shock off your defenders and at the last moment you are receiving the ball. His scoring patterns only has these two. Normal lightning shot can be used anytime if you are wide open. Not much technique can be shared. Now I want to share a trick with you guys. Don't tell anyone. I think some of us already know the answer. During speeding up, if we turn our left analog 90 degree, we have some stall movement. In order to cancel this animation, we have to turn it smoothly. Not straight line cut to the opposite direction. We have to turn it with a half round. Then the start animation will not be shown. Okay, let's start a match for a clearer picture. Start from formation. Actually, Hasegawa has plenty opportunity to be picked. Since players tend to pick not strong defensive players like Kenji, Ryoda, Rukawa, Fukuda, and etc. 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 So long the team need an assist in defense role, Hasegawa is our choice. How great the defense of Hasegawa determines his value for selecting him. So your responsibility is at least defend two rivals at the same time. Positioning becomes an important part. In this case, I need to defend Shohei Sakuragi and Hanagata at the same time. This is the great example, do not rush for shooting, only spot the chance last second to the calling ball ball move, Sakuragi is slow to react. This is the mistake of Takasago, if they got Tango or Fukuda, do not use this pickable skill at the start of possession, we can't protect the rim in time. Remember, playing as Hasegawa, do not keep taking interfere shots. Just like my team formation, everyone has scoring ability. We need not to take bad shot selections. Keep passing around and looking for a better chance. Nice block from Takasago. I will just focus on blocking shots. I leave the ring protection task to him. Surprise! Look at my ninja layout. <laughs> this is the simplest skill yet effective. When no defenders at the correct locations, they are unable to stop this kind of simple move. Nice block from Kenji. Don't underestimate Shotty. This team defense concept is correct. When the scoring move is not allowed them to pass, everyone can try to block the shot. That's why I mentioned two rebounders formations shouldn't be a problem to defend Shohei Sakuragi. Since the onboard defenders can just focus on his shot, less your team rebounder taking care of his dunk. Shouldn't have much scoring chance for Sakuragi. For sure, two rebounders should have better chance to secure more rebound than us. We are unable to stop them. One coin has two sides. We can't take all the advantage. Another wide open step back. This is judgment call. Sakuraki is assisting to defend Kenji, and I spotted this opportunity and keep running. Opportunity is to be created, it won't just appear from nowhere. If there is no chance, I will not shoot. What are the main reasons to be good assist in defense character? First is speed, which allows you to close the distance between two scorers. Second is blocking abilities. Who can defend dunks and shot? Hasegawa, Naito, Shohei Sakuraki, Awans Rukawa, Normal or Awans Sento, Normal or Awans Nobunaga Kiyota? are the best choices. Maki can be the one too, if their hands are not EG. Oda and Fukuda can be the one too, just because their blocking abilities are not that good. Their blocking timing must be very precise. This is the great example. We are mispositioned. Kenji temporarily helps me to defend Sakuragi, and I daydream for a second. Hey 
Yeah, red monkey, not in my house. This is it. Even I am following Hanagata. Once I saw this kind of movement appear, we can just try to block if our position is correct. I was still standing at the middle of the pendant zone, but too bad they had all the rebounds. Even with full self of abilities and threats, Kenji wide open trees also will be missed quite frequently. This is the norms. Seems he is too easy to create wide open chance. If letting him to be that good, I think a lot of players will throw their phones away. Actually, 3 pointer Kenji is the main string. They can create much spaces for his teammate and only shoot wide open trees. For me, I will just play mid range Kenji and focus on passing. Hey, you, don't be dumb. You not even have 3 point abilities. That is the main reason. Ah, you see through my mind. Yeah. Kenji has missed his last wide open trees, and this time is high chance shot. So he took the shot without any hesitation, with or without interference. Kenji is too rushed, I have wide open chance. Same to Shohei Sakuragi, I am still staying within his sight. Definitely is not a wise choice. No shooting space at all. Normally, I will not use my ulti to block the attack the basket ulti. Our blocking range will not be crazy like June, so I will reserve for blocking shot. I will play some mind games too. I purposely leave him alone and making him to think he has wide open. Then suddenly, hiya! The bobo has been blocked. Another wide open, another good shot. I always step beyond the 3 points up when landing. This is the longest distance, but still a mid-range shot, so we must keep practicing. Only when there is few seconds left in shot clock, we just have to take in the field shot. If we have so many scorers in our team, we must be choosy on our shot selection. So patient is the key. To summarize the techniques we have learned today, first is speeding up lightning shot timing and position. Second, furthest mid-range spot for step back shot. Third one, speeding up trick. And the fourth one is Hasegawa's rolls, when to shoot, and defense. These are the few keys to make your Hasegawa strong. However, I want to clarify something here. After you used to the blocking range of Hasegawa, we will encounter one big problem. That is when we are using other characters, we will miss the blocking timing. We are too used to his huge blocking range. That is the downside. Forgot to mention, this is my abilities and threats for the match. Super bounce, inside barrier and super block. Teammate trust, open shooter and block shot are the threats. If you enjoy the content, kindly give me a like and subscribe my channel. Thank you guys, I will be back.